Hey guys, so I am back with a new video and these are going to be my old sketchbooks. Sketchbook number one is basically from 2009 when I was around 13 years old and I was basically into drawing a lot of portraits using pencil because that was the only um, material that I had available at that time and I was a big Disney Channel fan so there's a lot of portraits of Disney stars like Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato and I never actually finish my sketchbooks so that's about it for this one. For sketchbook number two, this was done in 2009 to 2010 when I was around 14 years old and I really just wanted to focus on manga and anime drawings. So as you can see, here's an attempt of doing one. I didn't actually finish this one. It was one of those stories that I kind of just um, did and went along with whatever came to my head. And some of the pages that have cutouts in them are actually because I didn't like the panels or the drawings on the panels, so I cut them out and left the panels that had fairly decent drawings that I wanted to keep. So this is about where I got up to. Then we have manga eyes and then how to draw a face. And then a one shot that I actually finished, it's titled First Kiss and it was inspired by a song called Kiss Me. And yeah, it's a very short um, story and also something that I didn't really plan in full detail. I mean, I had a plot in my head, but that was about it. And then I just created characters really quickly. And I even finished the story in about a month because I just really wanted to finish it, I suppose. And that kind of resulted in the last couple of pages being half assed done. As you can see, there's no background. They're all white colored and it's just, I don't know, it's a bit weird for me. But I'm pretty happy that I finished this. As I said before, I rarely finish anything. So I was like, major achievement for this one although the story is quite embarrassing and I'm glad I didn't post this anywhere because I'm pretty sure I had a blog back when I was 14 years old dedicated to manga and anime drawings and yeah so that's about it we've almost um reached the ending of the story if you want to read it feel free to pause but I don't recommend it and that's the end and a random drawing at the last page Sketchbook number three was done in 2010, but I was still 14 years old at that time. I haven't turned 15 yet. And here I mainly used charcoals, except for this one. This one was done with crayons, a blank page. And yeah, so most of these were like portraits of people like, that's me right there. That's a hand, I think. And then trial number one of Ashley Tisdale and then trial number two using crayons. And then here's Taylor Swift. Vanessa Ann Hudgens, some guy, does it look like Zac Efron? It kind of doesn't look like Zac Efron. A mannequin, Miley Cyrus attempt number one, Miley Cyrus attempt number two, doesn't look like Miley Cyrus. And then attempt number three of Miley Cyrus, which failed miserably because it didn't get better in the third try. And then here's Beyonce, and then a random eye, and me again which is unfinished and then there's me again and then here's me and my friends when I was like back in primary school and a manga that I used charcoal to color with. Sketchbook number four was done in 2010 when I was around 15 years old and I kind of found like my own style obviously it's not as developed as it is right now but here I used watercolors um, and I only really have two. This is a random background that I did with watercolors. And then this one was done in 2012. And that's about it for this um, sketchbook. So for sketchbook number five, this was around the time when I started getting commissions. And one of them was a t-shirt design. So as you can see, I did some of my own t-shirt designs. I quite like that one, but I didn't go for that. I went for this one instead, and I actually made a video of this. So if you've been like a long time subscriber, you would have probably seen the video, but those got taken down just because they had copyright issues and I wanted to revamp my whole entire YouTube channel. So yeah, anyway, these are chibi manga characters or 
random characters like that one is a gender bent mad hatter and just more random chibi girls and it was kind of like a mixture of fashion and manga as you can probably tell sketchbook number six was basically when i had this massive obsession for the hunger games as you can probably see and yeah um i used biro or ballpoint pens for these sketches and this is actually my favorite scene from the hunger games and this was when I had an obsession for Josh Hutcherson as well. So I watched Bridge to Terabithia and I tried attempting to draw him, as you can see here, right here. Yeah, that's my first attempt. Second attempt, which I failed at. And third attempt, which I also failed at. And this one is more recent. I think this was in 2013. But these ones, these were done just this month, actually. 2014 I used my Copic markers for them so just kind of quick rough sketches or drawings using Copic markers and pencils and fine liners this was unfinished another Copic drawing and another Copic marker drawing that I didn't really finish and that's about it for this one for sketchbook number seven, this was done in 2012 to 2013. So we're getting into the more recent sketchbooks. And as you can see, these were done with Copic markers because at that time, I think, is when I got my Copic Chow markers and I used them like nonstop. Most of these, if you've seen them, they um, were posted on my Instagram. So 2012, I think, was when I started my Instagram. Or maybe, yeah, I think it was 2012, early 2012. And yeah, so some of these were also done in pencil. Like this is an OC or an original character. And it's like a combination of manga and fashion illustration because I was into fashion illustration. I did have a YouTube channel during this time, but I wanted to kind of return um, to being interested in manga and anime and kind of revisiting that style. Um, this is a different style that I tried. I didn't really like it. And yeah, so this um, sketchbook was mainly dedicated to kind of manga and rekindling back that interest that I had, I suppose. This is a different style that I tried and I didn't like it as well. And here's Ariel in manga version. And this is a different kind of coloring technique that I tried and I quite like it, but I don't know. It's just not my style in my opinion. And some more, The Lost Boys, which is a collection that I actually wanted to work on, but I didn't end up doing it. And here is when I actually got my Faber-Castell um, classic colors. Like, I used them for some of these drawings as well, except for this one. This was done purely with Copic markers. And again with Copic markers. And that's about it. And finally, we've reached sketchbook number eight, which was done in 2013. And it also focused on, again, anime and manga drawings. Around this time, I would say, was when the whole notion that I had with what sketchbooks are used for changed. So basically, back in 2009, as you saw, every single page was like a major artwork. And for me, what I remember was that every time I made a mistake or I found that the drawing was horrible or I had unfinished drawings because I didn't like them for some reason, I would tear out the page and then throw that in the bin. So now I have a different view on sketchbooks. So I see it as a way for me to jot down concepts and ideas that I have that I want to develop before I actually make a major artwork. Although I'm not saying that that's how everyone should view a sketchbook or the purpose of a sketchbook, it's really up to you. I know other artists who have every single page as kind of like a little finished artwork that they have, and it's amazing. Although I can't do that, so I have to stick with the idea that sketchbooks, for me, are just going to be for sketches because, as I said, I rip out pages and pages of the sketchbook and no sketchbook would last with me if I try to create a major artwork in every single page. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys like it and thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one.